Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Moon Colony live stream. It's nice to see you again uh, today. I'm joined here with Antoine. Welcome back. Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's always good to have Antoine here. Uh, yeah. So he'll he will be uh, kind of taking instructions from you guys today. Um, I can see my I can see my camera is flicking again. I really don't know what's going on with that but uh, I will try and fix it behind the scenes while the stream is going on. Uh, <laughs> but first, um, today we're going we're gonna to do something a little bit different. We're going to be doing uh, a character design, but I thought it would be fun to kind of let you guys have a bit of an input as to um, what, what goes into it. So if you have any, uh, any maybe ideas you know for what you'd want this character to look like maybe maybe you want them long hair short hair maybe you want them to have a funny top hat or a machine gun for legs i don't know you know <laughs> whatever yeah um or a specific specific theme something like that mm, or yeah. can be a, a monster also yeah or just uh a... yeah exactly. it can be an alien with a pirate clothes yeah exactly like that example mm -hmm. um yeah i think that would be fun so uh you know feel free to to throw out any ideas you've got uh we can pass them on to antoine or he can look in the chat and see them himself or we can throw them all together into a wheel spin it and see what we get but we will kind of just uh we'll we'll see how it goes as we as we move on but um but yeah first things first how would you like to start antoine Mm. Mm. First, with the first idea, I will search for some references, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. And maybe I will explain uh, how I search uh, some references and where. Mm -hmm. Sure. And uh, yeah, I think we'll begin to do some quick rough sketches mm -hmm. to uh, try plant ID and sure. try to mix what the people will uh, propose to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we... Sounds, sounds great. So uh, if you if you want to crack on with that, I'm going to turn my camera off and see if I can fix it. <laughs> okay. But, uh, you know, people in the chat, get your ideas down and we will we'll see what we can do. Uh, I can see... Um, I can see Mist has, has already said, how about something insectoid, you know? Yeah, it can be cool. Yeah, it can be cool. I, I will begin to search for references. Yeah, sure. Or thing. maybe try to sketch something I have in my head, and maybe it will help people to to find some ID. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Alf Cyborg, Alf Insectoid. I, I will search for that. Yeah. So, for my references, I mainly use Pinterest. Mm -hmm. A bit of uh, Google image, but now Google image is full of uh, AI stuff, so it's a bit hard to find something interesting. So, if you want uh, um, something cool with Google image, you need to add something that will block uh, this kind of uh, website. Because now everything is just AI if you search for something, so mm -hmm. it's sad. But Pinterest, it's pretty okay for now. Fine. Uh, yeah, Mist said maybe try adding the tag before 2022. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Will show my tag. Something like this can be cool because I feel like these eyes are already something uh, sci fi. Yeah. Yeah, I think they are pretty cool to, to see and analyze because they are like a real alien. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I love and their eyes. They're an interesting, so interesting shape. We we'll take a bunch of uh, references and we really quickly uh, sketch after that. So oh, look oh. at this. <laughs> oh yeah, like the microscopic uh, like tardigrades. Yeah. Yeah, those things are nice. But if you have other ideas, uh, don't hesitate to propose. Can do a lot. Uh, Gwendaru says, um, it's just an idea, but maybe we can, I don't know, perhaps create a, create a new Pokemon, but it's just an idea. <laughs> How many Pokemon do you people want from us? Huh? We, we can, huh? We yeah, can, but yeah, we can. maybe not. No, no. <laughs> maybe for the future. But, yeah. <laughs> um, Kathy says uh, a sci fi bug that is some kind of religious preacher for a sci fi oh, religion. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it can be cool. Yeah. I'm trying to take what really flash in my eye. Yeah. I don't know if I will use uh, all my references, but a good source of inspiration for shape or mm -hmm. colors. Uh, something June inspired. That'd be sick. Um, an evangelical moth that worships the great lamp. Very good. <laughs> I want to like a remake of Evangelion, but with insect shape, maybe. Yeah, that could be cool. Like, you can take that to make like uh, some uh, brush, you know, mm -hmm. paint. Yeah. Okay. Think. Let me just check. I think I might have fixed it, but. We shall see. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna be absolutely ginormous on everybody's screens for like one second. Okay. Hello everyone, I'm back. <laughs> there we go. That's better. I think I have something cool with this. I got some idea. Research on sci-fi. Man, some of those remind me of... Uh of uh, destiny or the insects no not sorry not the insects the like some of the armor on the sci-fi stuff remind me of destiny. oh yeah yeah of that i think it's all ai stuff mm. so i will not be surprised if uh, they use some concept art of destiny or image of destiny yeah to do this uh, looks very Warframe like. Yeah, it does actually a little bit. Yeah, I can see that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Warframe feel a lot inspired by insects like this. When I see the design, it's yeah. more organic.
robot man so descriptive <laughs> a good name yeah um a roly poly robot would be neat <laughs> about what about hmm. oh what's th there's a little insect uh what's it called like a, a pill bug i think in the uk we call them like wood wood louse wood li wood lice um oh what but they 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 curl up into little balls basically these tiny little oh balls. okay ah yeah i see i see yeah uh, pill bugs, roly polies, isopods, yeah. Um, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, <laughs> hold your horses. A sci fi robot bug that is secretly a shell for an even smaller bug, reminiscing on how some. Oh, okay. Reminiscing on how some bugs can shed their armor. Wow. That'd be cool. We do only have limited time, though. So, you know, bear, bear that in mind. <laughs> yeah, but uh, with sketches, we can be very cool. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we could do, like, a bunch of sketches. Um... Mm -mm -mm. Uh, hello, Ailey. Nice to see you. Hello, hello. Oh, hey, Marco. Nice to see you, man. Like an Exuvia. I don't know what that is. Why is that Exuvia? Oh, it's like a... Like a... Outer skin. Like an exoskeleton. I think we will be good to begin with the first ID. Yeah. Yeah, I think a, I think a bug, a bug, Pope, <laughs> is a cool yeah. idea. I like it. Yeah, we can try that. Well, a sci-fi bug Pope. A sci-fi bug Pope. Yeah, bug priest. Yeah, let's go. Uh, if anyone has any other ideas, then we can we can keep like we can keep building it and building them up. Uh, yeah, for Marco and uh, Ailey who just hopped in, or anyone else who's just popped in, um, we're kind of leaving leaving the design ideas up to you guys today. So feel free to throw some out there, and we'll. We'll see what we can do. Mm. Missed. That was bad. That joke was bad. They said, they said that the bug priest is from the Natican. Terrible. Um, you're a bit late then? No, you're not late at all. We're still, we're still taking ideas, so. And feel free to, uh, feel free to take these ideas as well. And, um, and, you know, do some of your own, do your own bug, bug priest. So, I think I will begin with the head because yeah. there's two interesting, interesting thing. That... Yeah. Something with big eyes. Mm. I feel like the the obvious 
one you would you could pick would be the praying mantis. Yeah. But where's but, the fun in that? Yeah, a bit to use, I think. Yeah, exactly. Whenever okay, I'm... we already mix the head with uh, a bit of sci-fi. Yeah. Whenever I think of like sci-fi, um, like sci-fi priests and stuff, I always think of the um, the the oh, what are they called? The characters from Halo. Uh, like the prophets in Halo. I never played to Halo, so I don't really see. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. Unbelievable. I try, but a bit too old, so <laughs> I had some some difficult time to, to do the first game. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. But they're, they're basically these like big worm, these big like worm creatures. <laughs> that are prophets of this like religion mm. um but yeah uh, let's see those uh ailey says those big eyes makes me think of flies and a bit of myself when i tried really big round sunglasses ah <laughs> oh, too fair you could i i think a fly priest would work really well because they do that thing with their hands you know they're constantly yeah. like, rubbing their hands together yeah or like uh, you know uh, uh, a vendor a seller in uh, assurance uh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> assurance job something like this yeah <laughs> uh can we just say that there's a bug in Photoshop? Yes. Yes, you can. And Photoshop is so buggy today. <laughs> Comedy gold. <laughs> uh, free real estate dude be like flies. Yeah. <laughs> He's not, he's not a bug, it's a feature, yeah. Um, it'd be sick if he had more arms to do some religious symbols with. Yeah, mm. since we can add some more. Yeah. Like Zenyatta from Overwatch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, or like Shiva, yeah, yeah. I would like to add some maybe tiny arms here. Yeah. Yeah, it's little little nubbins. <laughs> he has no nipples, just tiny arms. <laughs> but just move a bit. Uh, can you imagine like going to him for advice and all you can see is just his little tiny like finger thing like little feet things wiggling around yeah ew mm. but I think that it will be good to do uh, for the the deaf people you know the sign oh yeah with the, yeah. With all the, his arm <laughs> um those little arms could hold a religious necklace or something, or just a big symbol. He's just holding a big gangster, like a big gangster symbol, you know, a big dollar sign, <laughs> golden necklace dollar sign. <laughs> He's a priest of capitalism. Yeah. Okay. Uh, real question. What kind of people are they preaching to? Oh man. That's a point. I mean, what what is this bug a, a priest of? You know, what does he believe in? What's his deal? Mm. Uh, 
Hard question. Maybe a bigger box or uh, like it's um, close to uh, you know. Uh, I don't know the word for before the the butterfly. Oh, a caterpillar. Yeah. Mm. Maybe yeah, it's a priest for uh, their god are a big butterfly. <laughs> oh yeah. Because yeah. they want to become one. Yeah. The Church of the Holy Cocoon or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Caterpillar. Oh my god. Mist. These are these are bad. I don't know how you consistently come up with so many puns. You're too quick weird for me. Uh how about you holding a bug crucifix to ward off the mosquito vampires? <laughs> <laughs> Man. Uh, if it's a world with just big bugs, <laughs> Mustico has to be a nightmare for us. Oh my god, yeah. Because there's never just one mosquito. Like yeah. they come in like swarms. This is like uh, maybe. Uh... The incarnation of the devil in their world. Yeah, yeah. I really want to see like, uh, I really want to see like a whole collection of these now. <laughs> Just bug bug citizens in a bug world. You know, you've got the bug priest. We had the fly. The, the fly like real estate agent. <laughs> the bug cop. The bug. This. The bug cop. What? What bug would be a cop? Hmm. A tardigrade. A tardigrade. Yeah. Yeah. This month. Yeah. <laughs> You've got like the sweet. The sweet old ladies who are like baking cookies, and that's the uh, the 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 ladybugs. Bumblebees because they're the hot fuzz. Oh, <laughs> oh. I always imagine bumblebees as being like old men, you know, just really chilled out. Little old dudes. Yeah. But ah, uh, it's a bit disgusting because in this world, you know, bumblebees are making food by themselves <laughs> with their uh, hook. Hook. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be kind of gross. Oh, like a like a giant bumblebee just making making honey would be the worst experience. Yeah, for, for everyone, you know, is attached somewhere like a, a farm of bumblebees <laughs> are just yeah. here to uh, to create food for the others. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> yeah, as Mist said, fun fact: honey is bee vomit. Yeah, that was a fact that I learned when I was a kid, and it it put me off eating honey for a long time, knowing that. Uh, Ailey said they could pray to the death's head hawk moth if we want to be more metal. Their caterpillar form is really good, is really cool too, man. I think I've heard of, I think I've seen the death's head moth before. I can't remember where I. Saw it. Um, is that the one that's in uh, Silence of the Lambs? If anybody has seen that movie. Okay, you didn't see. Oh man, you have to watch it. It's so good. What is the name again? Uh, Silence of the Lambs. Oh yeah, I did not hear her. Sorry. Yeah, I watched it. But uh, a long time ago. Yeah. Man, it's a it's a good movie. It's the one where where it has Anthony Hopkins as Hannibal Lecter, and he does the thing where he's like, um, 
I'll have your kidneys with a side of fava beans and a nice Chianti. Mm. And then he goes... <laughs> yeah, but I think in their world, something like this is a bit of a, a norm, you know? Yeah. Because a lot of insects eat uh, them, uh, themselves or their partner, so... Yeah. I heard that it's a big... Um... I've heard that it's a big misconception just how often insects like eat their partners. Apparently they only do it if they like really need to. It's not just like uh well I'm done now. Yum. <laughs> Thanks. But they are not the only one who do that. For example, I uh I learned that for uh, bunny. Mm. The mom bunny eat their babies sometimes when they need food. Wow. Absolutely disgusting. Yeah, that's wild. I know I've heard of pigs doing stuff like that. There's like a thing with pigs where they go they go a bit crazy and just start like killing and eating their own kids. It's really gross. Hamsters do the same? No, not the hamsters. <laughs> hamsters are so cute. They can't do that. This is a low survival. This is... This is really upsetting news. I don't want to know about hamsters or bunnies eating their babies. That's sad. Uh, Father, forgive me for I have sinned. I fornicated before marriage and ate my husband's head. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this priest hears on like a daily basis. You can't join the big cocoon in the sky if you keep eating your husband's heads. <laughs> Eat some more. Yeah. <laughs> Hamsters do everything. They're terrible. No. Well, actually, every time I've held a hamster, it's bitten me. So, you know, I, I'm, I shouldn't be surprised. But in the same time, I think hamsters without humans can can survive the nature. Because they die by so many dumb things, you know, sometimes just because they are afraid of their own, uh, own fart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always find it really interesting how, like, when you look at, do you ever look at an animal and be like, how did you, how did you evolve to look like that? You know, mm. like the, the one that you have on your reference board right now, I'm just like, how, why? like, why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> Who's answer? What is the, the utility to, to that? <laughs> yeah. You know, normally they have bright colors to show like, hey, back off, I will poison you if you eat me. But then they also have like massive horns on them for no reason, like for what? Yeah, and this thing don't seem to really move. Yeah. So just decorative? Maybe. Maybe it's like a mating thing where it's like, oh, my horns are bigger than that guy's horns, so. Oh, yeah. Uh, nature is wild though a lot of male insects just die to get coochie they really do um, have you ever seen a hamster in the wild I feel like they just exist as domesticated pets where do they live in the wild they they live in um, like desert they live in like desert countries is it like uh, doesn't Iran or Iraq or something naturally have hamsters in it it's like uh, I, I don't remember. Oh, Syria. It's Syria. Syria has has hamsters. That's the one. Sorry. 
and then guinea pigs is like uh um uh south i think south america has guinea pigs somewhere in south america yeah like there's some countries that eat the guinea pigs on hamster yeah I'm not surprised, I guess, but yeah, they, they, yeah, they're from Peru, uh, like Argentina, and they live at altitudes of more than 14,000 feet. Damn, those little dudes love mountains. I hear hamsters taste like pork. It's probably all the ham. Bad, bad. Um, God was playing with the character design a little. Yeah. Mm. Cheeky says, there's the European hamster that lives in Belgium. And I don't know where that is. Al Alsace, Als Alsace, uh, in the west to Russia in the east and Bulgaria in the south. I did not know that. That's really cool. We're learning so much about animals today. Yeah. Alsace. Oh, Alsace. He's in France. Oh, I'm sorry. I just butchered. So I just butchered a French place name. I've never heard of it before. Or if I have, I've never seen it written down. They begin to look cool. Yeah, he's looking awesome. I just lo I love his uh his posture is just really good. Like his gestures are, are really nice. Yeah, I really see him in front of me. Like to me, John Sukun from my child. Yeah. It's a mix between Germany and France. Oh man, I, I have no idea. Actually, speaking of, um, who who was it? Kathy mentioned God playing with the character creator a little bit too much. Has anybody downloaded the Dragon's Dogma two character creator? Oh, I want to, to test it, but uh, I didn't uh, for the moment. It It's absolutely insane. <laughs> like, it's yeah, crazy. it feels so, so well done. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen that you can even create really old people? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very funny to see like a grandma fighting with you. Yeah. The, the first game was like that. Like you could create like a, you could create someone that looked super old. And their posture was like really lent, like leaning forwards, like hunched over like a grandma. Or you could make someone like really young, like sort of, uh, I don't know, looking like a teenager, or whatever. It was pretty cool. Uh, I'm torn between spending my free time buying Dragon's Dogma or Helldivers. Um, just, just do both. They're both really good. So just do both. Uh, oh, Alan said, I did. I tried to create myself. Oh, I didn't. I made like a super buff, like cat woman. It was pretty cool. <laughs> but I've seen people make like, they made like Pikachu. And uh, I saw someone make Timothy Chalamet. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw this. Yeah. Um. I saw one make Mads 
Mads Mikkelsen, Some, uh, if that's how you pronounce it. You tried to make a full goblin creature. Oh my god, I didn't think of that. <laughs> well, I know what I'm doing this evening. Thanks, Mist. Oh yeah, he's got those caterpillar legs. Look at him. Yeah, I try to see if can pull. I, I, for some reason in my head, I just pictured that that's not his body. He is like a, he's just stood on top of a caterpillar <laughs> under yeah, his like, coat. <laughs> his legs are here. Yeah, yeah. He just, just sit on something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> every, time I, idea. every time I see a long coat, it just always pops into my head. It's like. Oh, okay, so you're just like three things in a trench coat. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, the caterpillar is his seat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he can he couldn't sit on a caterpillar. Like if he's the if he's part of a church of like a holy butterfly, that would be that would be like heresy or something. You couldn't do that. Um, it's two kids with a long vest trying to buy some beer. <laughs> and they got real dressed up trying to, to, to buy this beer. Then after that, sac sacramental wine. Yeah, that's it. Uh, you know those small dog couches in Beauty and the Beast? Oh yeah, they're like... Aren't they like little like footrests or something? It's been a long time since I played, since I watched Beauty and the Beast. Maybe caterpillars become people, but only become people once they've become butterflies. Wow. Yeah. Caterpillars are uh, lesser beings until they evolve. If anyone in chat wants to take it upon themselves to develop this religion and come up with its own iconography, then I'm here for it and I'll support you in that. Uh, maybe we can develop a bit this world, that stream. Mm. Mm. I think it'll be cool. Now that we have the pap, what will be the next character in this world? Yeah. Yeah, guys, get your get your ideas down for the next. For what what other character lives in this world? You'll write up a quick bug bible. Moth god, moth god. Moth god, moth god. A heretic bug. Oh man, that's that would be cool. You do the two extremes. You have yeah. the bug pope and then you have the the uh, the heretic one. Vampire mosquitoes for sure. How about a god? Oh yeah. Goth moth apostate. You'd love to see a chained up heretic bug that looks incredibly beaten up. Oh my god. Okay. So the church, they're not the good guys in this situation. I need to find an idea for the symbol of uh, the religion. Yeah. Um, are we deciding that are we deciding that the the oh maybe the heretics believe in the moth god and the good like the church believes in the um butterfly the butterfly yeah yeah oh yeah 
Hmm. The heretic moth went too close to the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, butterfly is the sun. Oh, yeah. Oh. Is the moon. Their god can be like a bit light. Like uh, just, uh, you know, a light bomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the heretic moths support the light bulb. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I love that we're developing this. This is so fun. Maybe moths yeah. are considered fallen butterflies who lost their color and became edgy. Nice. That's a good idea. The holy lamp of moth god. <laughs> I'm so proud. I'm so proud of us today. I want to do something a bit pathetic for the heretic one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, Kathy, for the hydrate, by the way. Much appreciated. Let me, I'll have a, I'll have a sip. Thank you very much. So raid is Satan. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, bug spray. Bug spray is what they use. Like, using bug spray in this world goes against the bug Geneva conventions. That's just not allowed. Uh, his antenna looks like a holy circle. Yeah, like a, like a halo. What a we in this universe if bug spray exists. Hey, we don't have to exist in this universe because like they could they could just invent their own bug spray, you know. Bugs have weapons of war as well. <laughs> we are Ragnarok. <laughs> or maybe the human species are instinct. And they just have some archaeology oh, yeah. stuff to find some things that was uh, yours before. Yeah, they just stumble across a massive can of raid, just in like yeah. buried underground. Or for those ones, they find a, a legend like uh, a manual for uh, uh, the utilization of a light bomb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They just believe in it, like oh, <laughs> as a bright for light. Spread <laughs> by gods. Uh, this entire universe exists underneath somebody's porch. <laughs> I love the idea that the the god, like the holy lamp, is just somebody's flickering light bulb on the on their like porch, and they ask it a question, and if it flickers, then it's like, then it's um. Yeah, it's like it an answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Their god could have its could have a lamp hidden on its body and it's glowing uh, growing around it, kind of like an anglerfish. It's attracting devoted followers. Wow. So like a moth. Okay. So the the holy lamp is built into the moth god. Oh, no, I've got a better idea. The followers, like the, 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 uh, like the proper holy men of the moth god are fireflies because they're basically just flying lamps. Yeah, they are like the chosen one. Yeah, yeah, they're the chosen ones. <laughs> Name of the project, Fleekerous. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're all dead because we put an opposable thumb on bugs. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. This is incredible. I'm feeling so inspired right now.
Yeah, it can be a good idea for a challenge, like uh, create uh, in this universe with bugs, be this guy, the cops or the yeah. pop or... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Firefly is a good idea, but we kind of lose the butterfly moth parallel. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Butterflies are ascended through apotheosis. Fireflies are just blessed pilgrims. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the fireflies are just there to guide people on their way, you know, to show them the light, if you will. Plus, we need someone for the mosquito vampires to fight. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Mist. Is this is this one of the heretic guys that you're drawing right now? Yeah. Yeah. You can tell. I you think I will add some maybe tiny uh <laughs> <laughs> tiny wings I just they can uh, you know flap but yeah. they can't fly yeah they're so, they're so sick and twisted that they can't fly anymore uh, Katy said I love its little belly <laughs> And this is uh, maybe because of that the, the idea of the light bomb because they see it but they can't reach it. Oh yeah, yeah. Those wings are working overtime. <laughs> yeah. Flew too close to the lamp and their wings burn off. No. Oh, then they really would be like fallen angels. Hey. Cool. Yeah, maybe I can add like her wings out are destroyed. Hmm. The lamp's Four forbidden. Child. The lamp's forbidden, gro grossly incandescent glory was never to be felt so close. <laughs> Could there be a caste system like those who can fly are higher and those who can't are lower? Maybe. I mean, you know, this is all things that that you guys can build upon. I fully support you in this endeavor. That's why they sit on caterpillars. Oh my god! <laughs> Just having wings, even if they're useless, makes you... Yeah. If you have wings, but you're too heavy to use them, that's like that's like a double... That, you know, that's like a double bonus, because it's like... You have so much food, you don't even need to worry. Dystopian bug world, yippee! This went from... This went from, wouldn't it be funny if flies were like lawyers and estate agents or whatever, to mm. man, this is a dystopian, like, religious, apocalyptic kind of world that we live in right now. Uh, it's like the, fo the floating fat guy from Dune. <laughs> I think I remember him. Have you watched... Uh, June, Antoine. 
No. Yeah. I need to watch it because uh, I heard that the second was awesome too. Mm. So uh, I need to watch the, the first one. But uh, three hours of uh, movie, I remember. Mm. I really need to take time to, to watch it. Yeah. I I need to I need to rewatch the first one I think and then watch the second one because I don't remember anything that happened in the first one really. Uh, the first one is not really old. No. It was fast to create the second one. Yeah, I wonder if it was one of those situations where before the movie even came out they were like already halfway through filming the for the second one um, uh, some aristocrat bugs that were too gluttonous and now lost their ability to fly oh yeah 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 ah yes man-made horrors beyond my comprehension hey these aren't man-made these are bugs okay <laughs> We didn't do this. They did this to themselves. Mm -hmm. Mist says, I want to color these sketches now or make some more bug designs in this universe. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. I can't wait to for a cursed bug universe coloring book to come out. It's going to be great. <laughs> oh my god. No. He thought he's, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't. It's like holding the the graal, the graal you know. Yeah. No. It's a false lamp idol. <laughs> <laughs> it's pathetic, but it's cute. Yeah, that's what that's what Kathy just said. She said the little hands are so cute. <laughs> Blasphemy. <laughs> I love his eyes. His eyes are just so funny. <laughs> I love I can just imagine him talking to him like a like a disappointed dad, you know? It's like, come on, you can't have that, can you? That's ours. But I was is mine <laughs> but I want it I find it <laughs> mine now <laughs> I find it first <laughs> oh my god I love them so much he didn't wear clothes I think he didn't need no he doesn't need he doesn't need clothes that's one of the reasons why he's a heretic, because he refuses to wear clothes, and it's just, yeah. it's a crime. Uh, Katie said, oh my god, what if, what if his eyes went in opposite directions? Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, you gotta do it. <laughs> This is mine. <laughs> it's so good. This is mine. <laughs> no, you can't. With a bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of dribble, like a little bit of saliva coming out. Yeah. yeah. You can't have it. Yes, I can. <laughs> Uh, somebody called the guards. He's back again. 
It's a bit like, you know, the hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah. With uh, Claude Frodo and uh, the hunchback. Yeah. <laughs> Where is Esmeralda? <laughs> Esmeralda. <laughs> and Esmeralda can be uh, like... Uh, uh, well, that kill more the insect a good shape. Yeah, yeah. But maybe she's a... Uh... the name of that? Like a mantis. Um, yeah, a mantis. Mm. His eyes are all messed up because he stared at the sun for too long. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love them so much. This is so good. Yeah, and him, he, he knows that the light is dangerous for his eyes, so he covers it with something more sci-fi. Yeah. Like a uh, uh, glasses, but more high-tech. Yeah. Wow. What other what, what other stuff do we need? <laughs> I mean. What next? What next? Yeah. You're going to make the D&D &D campaign out of this? That sounds like a really yeah. good idea, actually. Um, yeah, I want to create a world of that now. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to see this be a bigger project. I think that would be so much fun. Um, hey, Voidbrush, thank you so much for the subscription. It's much appreciated. Uh, five months. Wow. Incredible. Thank you so much. I hope you're enjoying. I mean, I hope, I hope you wouldn't resub if you weren't enjoying it, but you know, <laughs> it's, it's glad to see you keep coming back. Um, a religious crusader, um, uh, a God then roly poly crusader. Uh, maybe if void brush is here, if you have any ideas since you've resubbed, if you have any ideas, then why not let us know? If not, then mm. we can... Uh... Maybe a soldier? Yeah, like... Uh, a roly-poly crusader, like a pill bug. If you don't draw the mask, <laughs> if you don't draw the vampire mosquito, then I will. Oh, oh yes, yeah, the, the mosquito. We can test with the mosquito. Yeah. The mosquito, okay. The mosquito can be the uh, can be the soldier for the for the heretics. He can be the heretical soldiers. Oh yeah. And then we can have like a holy crusader for the for the butterfly people. <laughs> Some cuckoo cultist. For some reason, I just sent a shiver down my spine. That was weird. Ew. Horrible. And just an ant. Yeah. I find that more horrible than a spider, honestly. Uh, yeah. Maybe not every spider. This one is very That one is pretty horrific. Horrific. Yeah. Yeah, if anyone has arachnophobia, then probably don't. That's a <laughs> Can't come back, no. Yeah, you can come back. The spiders are gone. Uh, scorpion Crusaders. Uh, it reminded me of the one vampire from Blade who drank too much blood. Just a big, bloated mosquito. I've, I don't think I've ever seen Blade. Uh, you never seen Blade. That's the one with. Uh, is it? Is it Wesley? No, it's not Wes, uh, Wesley Snipes, is it? I don't know. Oh no, it is. It is. Yeah, Paladin. Yeah. So. God, this one is better. Whoa. 
That's incredible. I kind of want that hat. I want that helmet. What are the roly polies called in France? Do you have. Do you, what, um, what do you call them? Cloupport. <laughs> Does that mean anything or is it just like a name? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, in, in my knowledge, it's just the name. Oh, so okay. I don't really know, but we named that Cloupport. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like uh, a Pokemon name. Yeah, I was going to say, it sounds like a Pokemon name. Yeah, I just wondered if it meant anything, because obviously in the UK, they're... Um, in the UK, they're called like wood lice, because they they like wood. <laughs> but... And then they're called pill bugs in the US, because they look... They're in like the shape of pills, I guess. Yeah, I think in English... It's more descriptive, mm. but in French, we just want to give names. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In German, it's Assel. That's interesting. Does that mean anything? Or are you just, do you just like giving them fun names too? Uh, the visual tests for that isopod game look so cute. Isopod game? What isopod game? You'll link it in Discord. Oh, cool, cool. Thank you. Well, you should be able to link it in the chat if you want, Mist. Roly polies are called clapor because they roll themselves up when we touch them. Clo like closed and pour like door. Ah, oh, that's cool. That's really interesting, actually. Oh, I've just looked up. Uh, it may not be true. I just saw that on Wikipedia. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to I'm going to choose to I'm going to choose to believe that that's true. Yeah, thanks professor. Oh, this isopod game does look cute. Man. I wish we could roll up in a ball and just like roll around. That would be a lot of fun. But how do you control what direction you want to go? Are you just roll in a, in a random way? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you would just you would just stand at the top of a hill and be like, "Well, I hope I end up where I want to be," and then you just go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a dark so. <laughs> Dark Souls, but the protagonist is a roly-poly who dodge rolls by curling up. Okay, that's that's pretty cute. That would be adorable. And you never attack. Yeah, you never attack. Can't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel like oh. that, that would be like if Sonic had a Dark Souls game. You oh would yeah. Just roll up into a ball and just like smash into them. Yeah, why is it true Sonic 
as the edge dog. Because it's not made for. Why they don't show the a rollerball? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can. I mean, hedgehogs. Hedgehogs do. Um, hedgehogs do kind of curl up, but I don't know. I wouldn't. I'm not sure. I wouldn't say that it was their defining feature. You know. <laughs> but then, wasn't he? I think wasn't he supposed to be like an armadillo to start with, or something weird like that? Yeah, it makes more sense. Hmm. Armadillo. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh no, I can't be bothered to do my responsibilities today. <laughs> Roll self up into a ball. <laughs> Guess I'll die. <laughs> there is an episode of uh, uh, Rick and Morty where uh, Jerry. Have a function to uh, become a, a roly poly. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a, a self defense mechanism. <laughs> Man, I, I I think I watched like the first two, two or three seasons of Rick and Morty, and then stopped. I haven't watched it in a long time. I think I watch everything now, mm. but I, I don't really follow, so maybe uh, I miss some season, but yeah. uh, it was pretty cool, but I don't know. Maybe sometimes it's not enough serious. Yeah. So I lose uh, my interest. Mm -hmm. For me, it's like the, the comedy gets... Like the comedy style got a bit stale after a while. <laughs> mm. Just people never stops talking. Uh, uh, Miss said I was bored after season three. Season six onwards was great though. A bit hit and miss. Man, I'm honestly surprised they still like they're still going. Oh yeah. I wasn't smart enough. My IQ wasn't high enough to understand the, the humor level of Rick and Morty. I'm sorry. <laughs> but man, when he when he turned himself into a pickle, that that was hilarious. That was that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. This is a high peak of uh, humor. You don't love your uh, taste. Would yeah. You? Man, this this mosquito is looking um, very. What's the word I'm looking for? I struggle a bit to valiant. See uh, how to do it. Early. Because mm. I want to keep some idea of them with uh, those legs. Yeah. Just make them have really short, pudgy arms instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I would just add. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it's a bit ridiculous. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of uh every time i see a character with really small arms it always reminds me of that movie uh meet the robinsons oh yeah with i the... was thinking of that yeah the t-rex yeah with the t-rex yeah, yeah. <laughs> i got a big head and little arms whoops Uh, you just think of Deadpool's little baby hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
I don't know why, man. Just that that one scene from Meet the Robinsons has been stuck in my head ever since I was a kid, ever since it came out. I remember nothing else about the movie. Just that one scene is ingrained in my head. I think this is one of the most popular scenes of the movie. Really? Because I have it in my head too, so <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's like this is just that moment that you really you really remember for this movie. Yeah. Because the rest is not really it's not bad, but uh, I don't mm. know. It. Yeah. I just remember it because the T Rex. He's trying to. It, it, I think he's trying to get. He's trying to eat someone like between, like in a corner, like someone is still yeah. in a corner, and his head's like bang in and the the villain is like get him get him go on eat him and then he's yeah, but i can i can't i've got a big head and little arms <laughs> he like flails them around <laughs> 2000 animated movies were so strange it's such a weird movie like a fever dream yeah yeah it was super yeah. strange and it was pretty ugly for his time because Ratatouille uh, was out the same year. Mm. Yeah. Who, who, what studio made uh, made that? It was Disney. Was it actually? Oh, I, oh, it was. Wow. Yeah, it was Disney before they uh, rebuy Pixar. Ah, I see. Okay. Because they really seen that okay without Pixar, <laughs> we are not really good. Yeah. Um. St stub uh, stubborn nun said, "Such a cute looking mosquito. Let me clap. No, don't clap. You'll quash you and squash him." We with this uh, arms, he can maybe clap, but with those one, he can't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> him clapping, and it's like it starts at the bottom, and it's like goes clap, 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 like up. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it was Disney itself. It flopped so bad. Yeah, it's crazy. I always thought it was one of their like. I always thought it was one of those like those other studios like uh like DreamWorks or or um what's the one that did uh, what's, what's the one that did Despicable Me? I think it's a French studio. It's Illumination. Illumination, yeah. I thought it was maybe one of theirs. They said at this point, I like to think these characters are all in a D and D party together, forced to work alongside those who they despise. <laughs> no, he's a. Uh... These guys would—they would never work together. No. That old tardigrade keeps stealing all of the light bulbs. <laughs> I think this one doesn't understand the, the violence of uh, his world. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> just here. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't understand the severity of his actions. You know, he's just yeah. like <laughs> I like to think that it was it was lit up and then he like unscrewed it to take it home and it, it <laughs> It didn't light up anymore because there was no power. So he's just looking at it like, what? Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> or just he, he take this to uh, bring it in face of the sun, you know, to have the sun in yeah. this. Yeah, he's holding it up to the sun and looking through it. Oh, it's work again. <laughs> wow. This is amazing. He has to find the great battery. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's like he's still like a, a precious relic. <laughs> yeah. Man, 
There's so many... That was maybe the only source of, uh, of light in their world. Of, uh, yeah. They stole it. They just, oh, it's beautiful. Are you wanting? Yeah, it's the holy light bulb. I would die for him. Don't die for him. He's the bad guy. He's the heretic. You shouldn't die for him. But I think he don't know that. No, he doesn't. He's, he's too stupid. He's too stupid to know that he's a heretic. Bugs. <laughs> <laughs> He's so naive and stupid, I have to protect him. <laughs> that's why the that's why the the priest isn't getting angry at him. The priest is just like, you can't no, you can't have that. <laughs> you need to give that back, okay? Um we said we need a big, bulky, roly-poly defender for him to be a shield. I swear there's one of those in Hollow Knight. I swear there's like a roly-poly uh, Hollow Knight character. Oh yeah, there's like a whole bunch of them. Bol boulders. Boulders, they're called. Super buff too, yeah. Baldur's Gate, they finally opened it? No. If they opened Baldur's Gate, this is what they would find behind it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was about to say, I do not envy you <laughs> doing, doing this. <laughs> Mosquitoes are a nightmare. They have legs everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to see uh, how to do that. But uh, I found something. Yeah. Initially, the first IUD is never really the good one, except for this one. Except for him. He's he's perfect. But yeah, your first distortion uh not really the one to keep. This is why you need to do some uh, maybe three or four iterations when you yeah. create something. Yeah. Um Miss said also I've never been able to figure out uh how do you put pure ref above Photoshop? I think it's just like a tick box, isn't it, somewhere? Mm, you have an option. Uh, it, uh... Yeah, it's here. Mod, you have always on top. Yeah. And it will be always on top of uh, every application you have. I think when I downloaded Pure F, that was it was on by default, but I could be misremembering. Okay, we'll do another test. I've been playing application Tetris over here on one monitor. <laughs> no. Maybe instead of have the add the you know, blood mm -hmm. blood back here, you have it uh, in front of him. Oh yeah, like it's uh, it's in his belly. And they said, I like to think the vampire mosquito is just standing far in the background, waiting for them to fall asleep. <laughs> oh, maybe this is why he has uh, tiny arms. 
like to to protect his baby. Oh no! Like, the, the tiny arms are for when he's going into battle and he's flying. He's flying along and he's drumming. He's drumming on his belly with them. <laughs> it's his battle drum. Boom, boom, oh yeah, it can be cool. Boom. I can't remember. Did we say that they're? Did we say that the the vampire mosquitoes are the bad are on the bad side, or are they on the good side now? I mm. forget. I think it's more on the bad side, mm. but not maybe every mosquito. Oh, they're like uh, yeah. mercenaries, you know. Oh, okay, the the church probably doesn't like them, but they're unaffiliated with the goth moths. <laughs> the goth moths. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're their own faction. Make him play guitar. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> yeah. I feel like we've got. I feel like we've got a good thing going here right now. say if anybody wants to extend the 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 bug extended universe then go for it and show us what you come up with you can put it you can put it in the discord in the study room or in the finished work or sketch it probably actually probably not study room sketches and whip or finished work probably um Miss said, I've always liked how bugs look as though they have natural built-in armor. I mean, they kind of do. It's what their exoskeleton is, right? I wonder how many, like, medieval blacksmiths looked at a bug and went, oh, that's incredible, <laughs> and just copied what they saw on a bug. I don't think they copy from him. No, I don't think that. No, I don't think they copy from him. <laughs> the aristocrats maybe copied from him. They were like, "Yeah, I want to look like this guy. I want to be that thick." With just those two legs, I can just imagine yeah. them, like, <laughs> just, like, just, like working with just this one, like having to do t like teeny tiny steps so he doesn't yeah. fall over. <laughs> yeah, but like this, it makes no sound, though, so he can suck blood without uh, being uh, catch. You know? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying. You're doing a great job. As I said, I'm so proud of, of, of what we have here today. <laughs> Married to a femme fatale bug wife with long legs. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, Mist. That can be you can do the you can do the femme fatale bug wife. <laughs> yeah, the Esmeralda for him. Yeah. Yeah, where's our little 
Where's our little uh, our little heretic's bug wife? <laughs> There's Esmeralda. I brought you a lamp, Esmeralda. <laughs> it's for you. It's for you. Oh yeah, this is good. I feel like the the one you're doing now is like the uh is like the the rich fancy uh mosquito and the other one you did is more like the 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 bodyguards like warrior. oh yeah uh, yeah it can be a superior cast hmm yeah we established earlier the caste system in this universe is real um, and we can't we can't do anything to stop it We're just doing apocalyptic hunchback of Notre Dame at this point. <laughs> so who are these guys then? These who else is in the the story? You've got the one that Esmeralda falls in love with. I can't remember yeah, what, yeah. What, what his name is. Um I don't remember. Oh, I have to look it up now. Hunchback. I don't remember, and this is my, I think, one of my favorite Disney movie. Yeah. Because uh, the music are so incredible, and just the, the the text of the movie is just uh, like, I think today Disney will never do that again because mm. too uh, hard. To, to explain this to a child yeah i think i think that one of the reasons why hunchback of Notre Dame was so good was just because like yeah it, it, it's something that disney had never done before like the whole villains uh arc was just wild and like the the song um uh, was it hellfire yeah that is just incredible. That's one yeah. of the best Disney villain songs ever. And it's like in Disney movie, villains are really caricatural, but plot follow are seems really real. Yeah. Like it's, it's not just a villain to be a villain, it's just yeah. a old man with a lot of fear and uh, just uh, just a, a big racist, you know? Yeah. Well, that's the thing, like. He's an old he's an old guy who is scared not only like of yeah not only is he a racist but like he's also reaching like a crisis of faith right because he's feeling lust for this person that he should hate and it's like really difficult for him to come to terms with that I think that's so interesting mm. Oh, his little legs. <laughs> Marco said, let's be honest, for Disney standards, even naming hell is unbelievable right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's sad when you see the last movie with the villain that is really empty, proposed. It's just villain to, to be a villain, but mm. it's not the, really interesting. The thing is, if they if they wanted to do like a mustache twirling like villain, just a generic kind of I'm evil kind of guy, yeah. then they could do that, but they don't.
Yeah, they don't. Instead, they do some like forgettable. I can't even remember what the last Disney movie was. It was the uh, Witch. Witch. Oh, Witch. Yeah, I. It, I totally, it totally left my brain. Yeah, it was the one uh, where the music was written by AI, if oh. I well understand. And yeah, the music are not really in this movie. You don't yeah. will not remember, yeah. honestly. I wonder if we'll get another like Disney Renaissance like we did in the 90s. Yeah, maybe one day, because uh, today is uh, pretty boring. Mm. Yeah. And I don't even think there's... Is there really any company there to fill their shoes? That's the thing as well, I wonder. I don't know really why they are into that, actually, because when you see what uh, Illumination uh, is doing with uh, his recent movie that are super mm. nice, what DreamWorks do with uh, Puss in Boots, that kind yeah. of thing, or when you see also um, uh, Spider-Man uh, the Spider-Verse, yeah. it was so well done, and it's proof that you can still do great things with uh, a great narration and yeah. uh, a good visual, you know, just not to... Because it's been a, a while that Disney movies are look all the same since uh, uh, The Snow Queen. Oh, it's uh, Frozen. Frozen. Yeah. And it's like they don't really create something else Part of that, they just are okay. That's work with uh, Frozen. Now we duplicate the style and we're just doing more and more. Yeah. And for which they try something, but it was more like, oh, uh, Spider Man into the Spider Verse work. So we do something like that. Yeah. But it wasn't really done, really well done. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit sad. And uh, personally, I really miss 2D movie. I yeah, like I 3D, see. but I want to see uh, again 2D movie. I think it can work. I think it's not a, a problem of money. So I think they can do it if they want, but I don't know why they really don't want to touch 2D or. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I guess we'll have to we'll have to see what happens. I get the feeling that they're gonna have to change things up at some point soon but yeah we'll we'll see um marco says i think dreamworks or sony could fill those shoes yeah possibly um mist says i'd like to see things moving away from big companies and more towards indie slash creator owned teams yeah, that's true. Having having more like indie teams would be cool, but I don't think they'd get as big of an audience as companies like DreamWorks or Sony or anything. They just don't have the the, the weight behind them. But I don't know. You know, YouTube animation is doing really well. There's a lot of YouTube animation that is uh, super popular now. Yeah, maybe also we need to stop uh, waiting after a big studio because I feel like they are not here to create really anymore. They are just here to make more easy money. Hmm. So maybe if you want to see something that will be original or never seen before or really well done in terms of proposition, yeah. You have to wait for Indie Studio to come with a good idea. Yeah. 
I think it's, it's I think the same it, in the video game. Yeah, I think there's a there's a uh, there reaches a point where you're like suffering from success, you know, like y- you can grow so big as a company and as a, like a studio maybe that you can then get uh, thrown around by like the whims of investors and stuff like that, which can stifle uh they can like stifle creativity because it's like well we don't want to take risks we've invested a load of money in this company so yeah but i think it's a lot of just bad decision because we see that it doesn't work for them Mm. when you see the last disney the last marvels doesn't seem to work to bring a lot of money so mm. i don't know something need to change yeah maybe they need to listen more creative people than just uh, i'm a sister that's uh, here to oh, okay uh, do uh, uh, a moana 2 <laughs> a zootopy 2 a frozen tree yeah like uh, okay it works before no it will work again but yeah and I hear that yeah, they will done uh, a Toy Story 5. And I, I don't know how you can create a, sto- a Toy Story 5 with the, the last one that was more uh, end than the tree. Mm. So, yeah. 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 I, was, I was pretty impressed, actually. I, I watched, so for the longest time, I refused to watch Toy Story 4. I was like, mm. no, three, three was enough. The ending of three was like perfect. It was so good. Yeah. And then over Christmas time, uh, my family put Toy Story four on, and I was like, okay, I'll watch it, but I won't be happy about it. Um, and I was, I was actually like pleasantly surprised. I was like, for an unnecessary, for an unnecessary con- like continuation of the story, I think it did pretty well. But yeah, it was a good movie, but mm. it was more like a movie about Woody than yeah. the others or the whole group. Yeah. It's like just a movie made to bring uh, the end of the story of uh, the Woody arc. Yeah, yeah, the Woody arc. So I see that like a, a spin off. Yeah. More that uh, real uh, Toy Story 4. Yeah. Uh, oh, Marco said, "Imagine what Has Been Hotel did." Yeah, I heard Has Been Hotel is is really good. I yeah, I saw I saw it. Uh, it's uh, really fun to watch. Mm. Pretty good. Yeah, I I have a I I don't really watch much like indie animation, like YouTube animation, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. Uh, Mist said, "What Has Been Hotel did for demons." We need to do for bugs. I don't know what that means yet, but we'll find out. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. It's Twenty minutes left. He's pretty chunky for a mosquito. He's just had a lot. He's had a lot of uh, a lot of blood. He's been having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> incredible i want to have like a uh i can't remember what it's i don't know what it's called like a design bible or something you know for this world it's like oh yeah like uh, an art book just uh... yeah yeah just like every every role in this world and, and how they fit together (laughs) 
eyes, his eyes. <laughs> yeah, I try to bring a bit more the sci-fi-ish uh, mood in uh, mm. the beginning. Yeah. Oh no. I've just seen a I've just seen like a happy face on his belly and now I can't unsee it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, a bit the, the fish you know Yeah, the... uh, it's like a manta, a manta ray. Yeah, a manta. Yeah. It's so cute. <laughs> okay. I begin to, to be cool now. Yeah. They're just the legs that are difficult. I was going to say, the, the legs seem really difficult. Because they're such a strange shape. Hey man, at least if we uh, if we ever get any projects related to bugs, we we know who to send them to. Yeah, I will keep that for my portfolio uh, to send this to Moon Colony if I see a project for uh, that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he's so good. Like just... there are two people like judging him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I also just can't. I can't get it out of my head now that you know he has like the antenna. That kind of come oh like like the little like wavy bits that come out of his head they yeah. look like handles yeah and i can just picture someone like st stood there like riding on it <laughs> it's like a bit in uh Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the legendary Pokemon. Yeah. Human Tui. <laughs> human Tui. It's just a human under a big hat. I want it. Up. <laughs> oh. Move, move. <laughs> yeah. No, I want I want to watch it. <laughs> move. <laughs> oh, I love it. I like to create uh, things like that. Yeah. Pretty fun to do. Uh, stream. Yeah, I love it too. You just let your like imagination run wild. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I never expect that this stream will come with this kind of thing. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> Man, I feel like we should do it. We should do it more often. This is great. Just develop the uh, develop the law that we've built upon today. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, maybe we can create uh, like a world in made in stream. Like yeah, a, that'd be cool. With a, a red line. Yeah, that could be cool. The the little like moon colony community insect world where everyone's <laughs> like. <laughs> I've done that one time in my uh, on stream with uh, mm. was uh, the name of the project was uh, Candle Night. Yeah. And uh, we tried to imagine uh, a whole world with uh, a society with just made of candle people. Oh, cool. <laughs> and it was pretty fun to to do. That would be cool. Yeah. Uh, Mist said, "Oh my God! Imagine a world populated by giant bugs where humans are considered pests." <laughs> <laughs> nah, the bugs. Maybe. Oh man, well, we are. It's a Just geez, that tiny is a, like this. That is a big light bulb. Yeah. <laughs> nah, dude, I can totally imagine these bugs like enslaving people. You know, like. We just we they just use us to build their little weird hives or whatever. There's so many possibilities. It's endless. How many humans does yeah. it change to take? How many humans does it take to change a bug-sized light bulb? <laughs> maybe twenty, maybe more, maybe fifty. Yeah. <laughs> No, I think I think we've done a good job today. Um, yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Thank you to the person that uh, created this ID in the first place. Yeah, let me let me scroll through and see who came up with this idea for like the religious. The lunch, uh, something big. Uh, oh, let's see. Does does chat let me scroll up that far? No, it doesn't. Man, I think it it, it was either going to be missed or uh, I think I don't know if Kathy did it. It might have been Kathy. Oh, it was Kathy. Okay. Nice job. job. Amazing, amazing suggestion. Thank you so much. Um, we. Uh... Oh, okay. Missed had the church idea. And then Kathy had, sorry, just had the insight idea. Kathy had the church idea. All right. Well, you can you can share whatever way around it is. You can share, um, but uh, I think we did we did a really good job today. I'm I'm yeah. happy to I'm happy to call it there. I don't think we need to force out an extra ten minutes. So um, yeah, if 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 you also would like to make some cool citizens of this bug world whatever whatever they may look like whatever jobs they might have you know whether it's a bug postman or a bug police officer or maybe a other... blacksmith uh, yeah blacksmith you can do everything yeah yeah there's no limits uh you know then then do it we give you free reign to do it and share it with us because i want to see more of these i think they're amazing uh but yeah thank you uh, thank you Antoine for for coming along with this that was really cool we'll have to do we'll have to do more in the future I am... thank you everyone this is uh, like a, a team job yeah we wrote uh, your idea I, I did not <laughs> expect to to do that so so yeah. it was super cool yeah yeah it was awesome um but yeah thank you everybody else for all of your great ideas there was some really cool stuff in there and I say we'll have to do it in the future and we can take more of your ideas um either develop on what we've got on what we've got so far or do something entirely different we'll we'll see how it goes but uh until then uh that is it from me this week uh let me check what we have uh next week uh so next tuesday we have a study session with arthur again we love having arthur here that man is so knowledgeable <laughs> he knows everything um so we have a study session with uh Arthur, that will be on um, organic forms in perspective. Um, so come along to that. I think that's quite a difficult, a difficult thing to 
to do. So come along to that. And then um, on Wednesday, we have a, a session with Melissa. And Melissa is going to be doing some Dragon Ball stuff for us because um, RIP um, Toriyama, you know. Hmm. So uh, she's going to do that. And I'm sure we'll get some interesting stories from her as always. So, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, other than that, thank you very much, everybody. It was great to see you. And I'll speak to you thank next you. week. So, Good job. Good job, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>